Welcome to the show! I am so excited that you have joined me today, and you're going to have to let me know. I have some nice, soft jazz music playing right now, and what I need for you to do is tell me if the music is too loud, or if you can hear my voice still just fine. Let me know. I'm really happy to be bringing this, this meal to you. Um, compliments of my sister Katie. And um, we like to call this meal, How to Cook and Keep the Tiny Humans Alive. Because Katie has two little kids and they run around while she's cooking. So this is a really fast, simple meal. But don't let the simplicity of the meal take away from the complexity of the taste. We will be experiencing, experiencing together today. So how are we doing here? How's the volume? Are we getting some feedback on how it works too loud? No, it's not. Well, thank you for joining me. And let's get started. You're going to need to preheat your oven, or if you have an air fryer, you can use your air fryer. Preheat your oven to 375, or get your air fryer, air fryer going to 375. And also boil some water. So I've got my water boiling back here. I prepared it ahead of time. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be preparing our zucchini to start with. All right. Here we go. There we go. So what we're going to do for prepping our zucchini is we're going to go ahead and cut off the ends of our zucchini like that. Good. And just turn down our music. I think that that's going to be better for everybody. If you're joining me right now, let me know where you're joining me from. Give me a hashtag number one if you listen to this live. Give me a hashtag number two if you are watching this as a recording. Let me know where you're listening from, and we'll make sure to say hi to you as well. Mm. All right, so we cut the ends off of our zucchini here. And... There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the zucchini in half because these are pretty good size zucchini, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut the zucchini in half, okay? There we go. And then I'm going to cut them down the center like so. There we go. Let's see what I'm doing here. Right. Kathleen's joining us from Kansas. Kathleen from Kansas. Welcome, Kathleen. All right, so just cutting them in half and then slicing them long ways in half like so. There we go. Okay. All right, now I've got these nice... Uh, zucchini ready to go here and I'm going to go ahead and put them in my boiling water. We're only going to boil them for just a very uh, brief amount of time here uh, because let me see here. We're only going to boil them for a brief amount of time because we don't want them to get too soggy but what we want to do is soften them up so we can pull the seeds out. So I'm going to go ahead and slip these guys in here. Do remember, as soon as you put the cold zucchini in the water, it's going to change the temperature of your water, so you may have to turn up your heat just a little bit to get it to boil again. For those of you who are prepping with me, um, one of the keys with cutting all of the different vegetables we're eating today is, um, I'm going, uh, really quick, I'm going to set a timer for just about two minutes. I don't need long with the uh, zucchini boiling. Um, but all of the things I have here, I want to show you a close-up here of what all of these look like. All of the things I have here, okay, they're all the same size. This is my cauliflower. This is 14 ounces of cauliflower here. All right, let me see. 14 ounces of cauliflower here. This is maybe a half of a bell pepper. I've got a half of an onion here. And they're all minced, so everything is really, really, really small. And maybe, you know, two to four ounces of mushrooms here. I would love to know what you um, are going to be putting in. And then this is not, I'm not going to be using all of this, but I've minced up a bunch of garlic. I'm just going to be using a touch of this garlic, so don't think that you're throwing this much garlic in there. Um, if you do that, you may find that you don't have very many friends left. 
because you will smell like garlic and sweat garlic and yeah, everything will be garlic. So don't want to do too much of that. I also have some fresh cilantro here. I have some fresh cilantro here and some fresh salsa here. All right, you see we've got some fresh salsa, but not very much, a little bit. And you notice how my salsa is really fine as well. One of the keys here with this is I want everything to be about the same as far as size goes. You see that here? All right, so that is what we're gonna be cooking with. And then I have, um, this is eight ounces of meat here. So I have eight ounces of meat that we're gonna be doing. I put a splash, a splash of rags in my pan and a little bit of vegetable broth. So we're gonna go ahead and start by putting our meat in. Lenore is here from Joliet. Lenore from Joliet, welcome. This is one of, this is such a nice, easy, fast meal. Um, if you're watching right now, I would love to know what you are planning on or what you are going to be putting into your own um, Trudy. zucchini boat. Trudy and Mary and Jane and Shell are here. Wonderful, Judy, say those people. Judy and Jane and Trudy. 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 Welcome, everybody. Mary. Mary, welcome, Mary. And Shell. Shell. Welcome, Shell. Very nice to have everybody. So I've got um, I've got my meat starting here. I'm gonna kind of you need to be using any ground meat right now. This is a lose it stage approved meal and is super fast, super simple. It takes you longer to dice all of the, or the mince all of the stuff than it does to do anything else. And you can really, if you're not on the lose it stage, uh, you could add some cheese onto the top when you go to air fry and that's gonna be really delicious as well. So I wanna get my meat started because that's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. I've got my burner on about high. And I wanted to tell you a little story. I don't know if you heard about the, since we're talking about boats today, I don't know if you heard about the sailor that docked his boat and he wanted to go into a nice, fancy restaurant. Well, he was greeted at the door and the um, person seating the tables, the host, said, you know, we have a, we have a dress code here at this establishment and um, you, know, you have to have a tie on coming here. And so the, the fisherman was like, well, I, I don't have a tie. I don't own Thai and I'm really hungry and I, you know, I came all this way on my boat and I really, really want to eat. And so the guy said, well, you got to have something. Maybe if you go back to your boat, you could find something that at least looks like a Thai. So the guy said, okay. So he went back to his boat and he was looking around and man, he couldn't find anything that looked like a Thai. So he went ahead and just found the closest thing. The closest thing that he could find in his boat was a set of jumper cables. So he tied those jumper cables around his neck, made it, you know, made a nice pretty bow, made it look as much like a tie as possible. And um, so the, he came back and he had the jumper cables around his, around his you know, neck and the host at the front said, hey, you know, that doesn't really look like a tie, but I, I know you're hungry and I know I want to help you out and we could use, you know, we could use the business today anyway, so. I'll go ahead and let you in, but just make you don't make sure you don't start anything. Uh, uh, that's pretty so good. good. All right, right now um, a couple things are happening. First of all, I'm going to turn my temperature on my meat down to low. If you look at this right now, this is about what you want to see when you start adding other things. And you got a little bit of pink left. But that's still that's really good. I want a little bit of pink as I add in all of my other stuff. So my burner on low. I have turned my zucchini off and because you don't want to overdo your zucchini. So I'm going to just see how we're doing here with our zucchini. So I want to be able to dig out those seeds. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So basically the only reason we're boiling the zucchini right now is to get them soft to make it easier to scoop out the seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner off, drain the water, and then I'm going to let the zucchini sit a little bit. So I've got my burner on low so I don't burn my meat. Draining out my zucchini here. Make sure you don't burn yourself. All right. And then what I'm going to do with my zucchini is I'm going to lay out my zucchini and I'm going to put a little bit of salt on them to draw out just a little bit more moisture because the goal 
with this is we're going to scoop out the seeds, and if we salt them, it's going to draw more moisture out. All right, so I am pulling out the zucchini here. Michelle said that you need to keep your day job, but you're pretty funny. Michelle said I need to keep my no, day job. No, Shell, Shell. Oh, Shell said I need to keep my day job. Yeah, yeah. oh, trust me, we all know that I need to keep my day job. <laughs> Stand-up comedy would not be my thing. However, if there was a stand-up comedy for really bad dad jokes, I think I would fit right in. Okay, just putting out all my zucchini here. All right, and I've got them just nicely laid out here, like so. Mary said she's watching, but she's cooking your baby cabbage soup. Ah, very nice, Mary. Yes, and you're, everybody has extra time to cook at the end as well, so I don't know about you guys, but we've been cooking so much food, I want to show you what I've got here laid out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so all of my zucchini nicely laid out here. And <clears throat> I'm going to salt my zucchini. So just putting a little bit of salt on each just to draw out just a little bit more moisture. One of the things when you're cooking with vegetables, trying to make them other things that we learned with like cauliflower last night, um, you know, we want to make sure that we get as much water out. It just helps everything taste a little bit better and not be as soggy, okay? So we're just going to let these sit here for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and give my hamburger here a stir and I'm going to start adding some things in. And I'm going to measure as I add and my sister Katie, who is joining us again tonight, Hello. Isn't that lovely? And then we're going to um, we're going to be measuring it out so that way I can so you can know. I have right here. This is four, uh, 12 ounces of um, riced cauliflower. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. There we go. Make sure if you're joining right now that you give me a hashtag number one. Let me know where you're listening from. If you watch or listen to this later, hashtag number two, let me know where you're listening from. I would very much appreciate that. How many of you have gotten your own Ninja 5-in-1 yet? They are amazing. I love our Ninja 5-in-1s. And as I tease all the time, our show has been brought to you by Ninja. Okay. Or, Z or Zevia. What did you say? Or Zevia. Or Zevia. Or any major company, Apple, Apple sponsored this because we're using Apple products. Don't tell them. Yeah, we're, we're a pretty big thing. I don't know if you've noticed, there's about at least 10 of you watching right now. There's All right. more. There's, there's more. 15. Oh, 15. <laughs> well, maybe we will get that Apple sponsorship. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and add in. I've got my heat low. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. I'm adding in my mushrooms right now. Oh, I need to measure it. Okay, mushrooms. All right, so that, that is going to be about a cup of mushrooms. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. You're writing that down? A cup of mushrooms. Okay, great. Right. Got that. And we have minced bell peppers. And that is a half a cup of minced bell peppers. And... This is a half of an onion, or, let's see here, this is a lot of onion. I do like a lot of onion. Whew. It's about a cup of onion, okay? Great, and then I have one third cup of fresh chopped cilantro. One third cup of fresh cilantro going in. Mm -hmm. And did you say how much garlic? Nope, we haven't gotten to the garlic yet. And then I have, let me see how much salsa I'm using. Pretty sure this is going to be about a cup of salsa. Renee has joined us. Renee, welcome Renee. Yes, this is a cup of salsa. Now also notice, notice the salsa everybody. Notice how the salsa is also a very fine small salsa. Okay, you can see that there, fine small salsa, not big chunks, because again, I want to make sure everything's about the same size in here. So I got my salsa, and then garlic. Mm, let's see here. So I wanna, uh, for people who are just joining, wanna, wanna Yeah, 
Um, I'm doing two tablespoons of garlic. Okay, so we are making, for those of you just joining, zucchini boats. And um, this is one of the fastest, simplest, but really tasty meals. So don't let the simplicity of what we're doing take away from the complexity of the flavors that we are putting together. This is for sure to please and an easy way to sneak vegetables in for that picky vegetable eater. Because you're not gonna be able to distinguish what is um, meat and vegetables, and it's all gonna taste very similar, but it will, by cooking this all together, it really adds a lot of flavor. Next, I'm going to get my garlic and onion powder, nutritional yeast, salt, and pepper ready. Okay, so we're gonna be writing down how much I'm doing of all of these things. Give my measuring spoon a quick wash here. Christina's watching, but she's not home yet. Christine's watching, but not home yet. I'm, I'm hopefully you guys are able to get out to the store. I'm going to be posting our next week's recipes here, our ingredients and what you need to go get. I'll be posting those here um, either later tonight or first thing in the morning. Still working on getting all that stuff compiled. Mm. Good coffee. Though. All right, so I'm going to do a tablespoon of garlic powder. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of onion powder. All right. And I'm going to stir my stuff here. Just make sure you give it, give it a little stir if you're... Oh, this is so perfect because you can see the similarity in size with everything. Just wanna, just want to say we did a great job here of getting everything cut to be around the same size. Ooh, did Katie do all the cut cutting? Uh, Katie may or may not have done a lot of this cutting, but I will definitely take the credit for it because I have a chef hat. Oh yeah, this looks really, really good here. See that going, giving that a little stir, turning my heat up. I've got my heat on about a medium right now. I wanna cook everything in there. I'm gonna do about 40 cranks of pepper, okay? So I like the fresh ground pepper. Fresh garlic as well as garlic powder. He's yes. cranking and counting. 27, and count. Yeah, I Man. got it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then uh, nutritional yeast. We're going to do two tablespoons of the nutritional yeast. There's one, and there's two. Okay, super awesome. Let's see here. Okay, let me give that another quick stir, and then we're gonna start prepping our zucchini. So stir everything in, get it mixed together. How much fresh garlic did you put? Um, I put two, was it two tablespoons? Two tablespoons of fresh garlic. Now I'm kind of curious how everything is being seasoned here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. So I need a spoon. It's low key falling, I get a spoon. <laughs> yeah, that's low key falling, and I get a spoon. And we got a fork. And wait for it. Oh, we got a spoon. Big spoon. A big spoon. It's like a shovel. Holy cow. Okay. This is like those. This is like those spoons you get at those, um, um, you know, those Chinese restaurants. It's like who actually uses this? And he's like. Okay, but let's try it. We're, we're trying it, so go ahead and try your mixture right now. Kathleen said hers is smelling so good. Hmm, this is really tasty. Really, really tasty. It's gonna be really good when it's all finished, but man, it's very tasty. No, very good. You wanna taste some, Paulina? Yeah, I can taste some. Mm -hmm. I'm making my way over here. Mm -hmm. Still needs to be cooked together a little bit more, but. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like it. Like it? It's a little spicy. A little spicy. My salsa I put in is a little spicy. Mm, yeah, you good, could put in some jalapeno if you wanted some spice. You could put in some cayenne pepper if you like spicy. Some different options there, but the salsa I put in is a little spicy, so that's where we're getting our, our heat from. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute, and you can see, I don't know if you can tell here, but let's, let's get a close up. You can tell. Can you see kind of the, the, the moisture on the top of the zucchini? I can see it on my finger there. Okay. 
So we've got moisture on the top because that's that salt drying it out. And what I'm going to do here, see if we can get a shot of this. Are we going to be able to get a shot of this? We're going to scoop out the zucchini. All right. So just over my trash can here, I want to just scoop out the seedy part of the zucchini. Mm -hmm. And then you also want to make sure at the same time that you're doing this, that you're not burning your meat. And I can hear my meat sizzling. All right, so I wanna make sure I don't burn that out. See all that water I got rid of there too? So just trying to make a little, think of a canoe. Maybe we could call these canoes instead of boats. They look more like a canoe, okay? That's what we're going for here. Turning my heat down into something a little bit lower, given my um, mixture here, a good stir. Yeah. Let me do this as well. Bonnie, Bonnie said hers tastes good. She loves cilantro. S say that again. Bonnie said hers tastes good and she loves cilantro. All oh, right, Bonnie. Bonnie's birthday was yesterday, everybody, and she joined us. And I hope Bonnie, you had an amazing day yesterday. And we're able to, you know, when we tell, tell people able to have a fun time, spend time with family, I'm sure that you were able to spend time home at least. I'm sure that's a normal thing here. All right, so just keeping on preparing our boats here. So you got to be, you know, a multitasker here. So you're preparing your boats, making sure your mixture that we're putting in the boats, or as I like to call it, the little people, don't burn. And um, then we also have started our air fryer again, just to make sure that we are preheating. are not doing this in the air fryer. Um, your oven will work just fine. You're going to need a baking sheet. Preheat your oven to 375. And all we're doing here at the end, we don't need to cook anything. We're just warming it all up together. Especially since your zucchini, by the time you um, uh, get done with pulling out the centers of all your zucchini, your zucchini is going to be... Uh, a little cold, so it just needs a little bit of uh, a little uh, a little love there, a little heat. We don't want cold zucchini. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you guys hear about what happened when the blue boat hit the red boat? Anybody know what happened when the blue boat hit the red boat? Um. Got an ouchie. They were marooned. Um, oh. yeah, well, yeah, I'm not green. That was kind of a boat and painter joke. Or artist joke. My <laughs> artist out there may have gotten that. Uh, Bonnie said she was going to cheat and order out for her birthday, but she couldn't break her streak of cooking with Davis. Hey, all right, Bonnie, I'm super proud of you. That's That makes me so happy. So proud of you. Great, great work. Great work. And you probably didn't miss it that much. You probably feel better about yourself that you joined us. Am I right, buddy? I'll let Bonnie respond there. So uh, while you're listening, if you're just listening in, let us know what did you do today that was really fun. What? Something that you really enjoyed today. I know my friend Jane is on here, and she weighed in at her lowest weight today, so that was exciting. Congratulations, Jane. And I know Chico. Congratulations, Jane. Yeah. So close to that goal weight. We got like two more pounds or something very, very close What's to that. What's the over, overall weight loss, that Jane? Jane, that's a great question. What's your overall weight loss? I'm curious to know what that is as well. Let everybody know. Okay, I'm on my last boat here. I'm going to give my mixture another little stir, making sure that it's warm. Okay, so let me try this again. Oh, yeah. And you can already, you can already taste the difference as it cooks together. Okay. And then we did, this is, this is crazy. This is a serving for two. So two people could eat all of this on the Vital Life program and still lose weight. That's insane. Look at the volume of food we have here. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. Okay, so now 
we're going to. Now we're going to fill our, I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat off on my mixture and then I'm going to be filling my boats now. All right. It's now time to fill your boats and what I'm going to do here, clear off some space for myself. Shell said, uh, took a two-mile walk with dogs along the beautiful Fox River in Geneva today. All right. That sounds like a lot of fun. Jane said, um, so far she's down 52.2 pounds. 52.2 pounds. Everybody, let's, let's do some clappy hands for Jane. And by the way, everybody who's on the Vital Life program, wherever you are on the Vital Life program, just post, let everybody know how much you lost and just, and, and take a moment, take a moment to brag on yourselves. Take a moment to brag on yourselves. If you're watching right now, I'm just, uh, in, I'm participating, I'm filling my boats. So if you're doing your oven, you're going to put them on a baking sheet. I'm doing my air fryer, so I am neatly lining these up in my air fryer. If you are on the lock and you can also actually not if you're in lock-in, you can go ahead and add quinoa to this. Or if you are a vegetarian or vegan, you could add quinoa into this on the loser stage. But only if you are vegan or strict vegetarian. Um, the quinoa is a great superfood. Really, really good for you. Just not necessarily as effective for weight loss as some other different protein options. Quinoa does have protein in it. And if you're in the lose it stage or lifestyle, at this point in time, adding some cheese onto the top of this would be delicious. But um, we are strictly cooking stage two right now, so I am stage not. Stage one. Sorry, stage one, my bad. Mm -hmm. So I am not going to be adding that in there. Bonnie ordered her scraper from Vital Life. Bonnie got her scraper from Vital Life, part of her birthday. All right, Bonnie. And I believe, Bonnie, we may, we may, I don't know, okay, we're over here. We may have included a little birthday present in there for you. Ooh. Ooh. So happy birthday, Bonnie. Happy birthday, Bonnie. Okay, look at that. This was, I planned this out pretty perfectly because we have, this is my air fryer, my five in one. There's the link in the profile. I'm telling you, I love this thing right now. Let's, can we get a close up of this? Uh, yes, we can. can? We're going to make our way over here. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to make our way inside the 20-day challenge group. I'm broadcasting other places as well. Broadcasting up wherever you are. Okay. So the other places need to be in a 20-day challenge group. You guys need to join the 20-day challenge group. That's probably you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Katie. You and you and you. Okay. So let's get the close-up. Yeah. What am I getting close-up Well, let's, let's show this here. Okay. All right. And then our Ninja 5-in-1, it tells us when to add the food. Can you get that? See, it says add food. Okay, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and add the food. Pop this thing open. Add the food. Ooh, you can see easy. that there? Easy. Close. I'm going to take my time down to five minutes. Boom. And we're going. Nice. Wasn't that easy? Perfect. Okay. And then, yeah, let's just take a look at how much is left here. We've got a lot of food left over. You see all this food here? It's a lot of food here. Tons of food left over. So this could feed an army, seriously. There's so much food here. Mmm. And it tastes so delicious. Wow. Really, really good. Loving that. You know, let me talk about this while this is heating. What could you do with this? I want you guys, those of you who are watching who aren't actively cooking, what could you do with this now? So we've got our food. Obviously, the three of us are going to eat this and we're not going to be hungry after we eat this. So what do you do with this? That is the question. I want you to post some ideas. 
and don't say make more boats. Don't do that. What else could you do with what we made here? And while that happens, I'm also going to grab a Zevia because again, my contract says every time I do a cooking show, I have to mention Zevia. Okay. Wow, what do we got here today? Cola, Zevia. My favorite. <laughs> Paulina's favorite. You know what's interesting about the cola, Zevia? All right. Um, Trudy said you could freeze it. Trudy said you could freeze it. Yes, absolutely, you could freeze it. Very good. Look at this. It's clear, but it tastes like Coke. It's cola. And it's clear because there's no artificial colorings in it. What else could you do? You could freeze it. That's great. And all of these things freeze really well. Like this would freeze together really nicely. Make sure you get as much air out of it as possible. Freeze that. It's going to be good for a couple months. Mm. Very good. Any other ideas? Our, um... Katie's doing a great Katie's, job. Katie's over there, like, her fingers are smoking right now. She's just over there typing away, answering people. The great thing about having Katie here is, like, she knows answers. So she doesn't have to ask you every time. Like, right. I, I read every comment because I don't know the answers. Well, and, Katie and answers. You're, she's answering as me, right? Yeah. What's actually happening is the air typing. <laughs> All right, we have a couple more suggestions. Kathleen said, eat it just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Katie said, make enchiladas. Ooh. And Bonnie said she enjoyed the ginger root beer Zevia. It's Very also good. clear. It is. All of the Zevias are clear. Very good. So, yeah, you could freeze it. You could um, save it for later. Let me show you this. You could. For another meal, or just for some variety on this meal. I just pulled out a head of cabbage. Cabbage is awesome, by the way, because it stays good for so long. You just peel back the kind of dead, wilty layers. Um, I have had this cabbage for about three weeks now. You can see how good it still looks. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off, peel off a cabbage leaf, maybe. Peel off a cabbage leaf here. There we go. Cabbage is not wanting to cooperate very well. All right, well, this will work. So I peeled off a little cabbage leaf here, and now I can put some of this in my cabbage leaf, and I have a keto taco. Hang on, I'm gonna eat this too. You could do this with lettuce as well. Mm. That's like a hard shell versus the, the lettuce is more like a summer. Yeah. <laughs> the cabbage is more like a hard shell and lettuce would be a softer. It's not gonna be give you the crunch that cabbage is. <laughs> Keep us entertained, Katie. Mm -hmm. Tell us a joke. Go I don't have any jokes. jokes. Uh, get your kids involved. Have them help you. My kids give them little plastic mats and they cut and do all that stuff. What did you do last with um, with the yesterday? Well, we fun. made um, salto ornaments so we could paint them. Actually, they're home painting them with their dad right now. Aww. So that was just water and yeah, just water and flowers and salt and nice. That sounds difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> it's not easy. And then we made some cookies. Sounds difficult for Paulina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. I'm like Davis I, when he was uh, nine years ago. I'm still measuring what water when I make my mac and cheese. Jane had a good suggestion, slightly different from your mm -hmm. taco cabbage roll, because you could then steam it. Yeah, you could do it with like what we did with our eggless egg rolls. This could be filling mm -hmm. for the eggless egg rolls. You could also, tomorrow morning, make this, put this as the filling of your omelet. That's a great idea as well. Oh, and we had somebody here in a Vital Life support group say, Oh, it's Anne. I think I can't read because um. Hang on here. We're trying to read. Anne, and Anna, uh, Anna Lisa says mm. stuffed portobello mushrooms. Stuffed portobello mushrooms. That's a great idea, Anna Lisa. Stuffed peppers. Stuffed peppers. Another great idea. Um, you could throw this in um, some broth, and you could turn this into soup. 
lots of different things. So be creative and think of like some different things you can do with it. But yeah, all of those are awesome. Our timer beeped over here. If you haven't had a chance to vote on the names of our oven mitts, make sure you check out the story of the oven mitts falling in love. I thought that was good. It was really good. Money doesn't matter. Do you that? want to go on a date? Well, well, are you rich? Well, if we love each other, does money matter? Yes. Why? Because I used a cheap oven mitt once and I got burned before. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh. Anyways, I'm going to come in here and take a look what you're doing. Okay, pulling these things out here. There we nice. go. Nice. They look so good. They do look so good. Let's go ahead and place this on a hot pad here. Look at that. We're going to grab a plate. Jane liked your idea about the omelet. Omelet, yeah. Really. You know what you could do also? Just thought of this, everybody. You could, excuse me, you could do an egg souffle with this as the filling. Mm. So many, so many choices. Jane also said you're goofy. I'm goofy. That's also true. Thank you, Jane. You <laughs> should try living with him. <laughs> Katie said, try living with him. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay. Let's see here. Want to do it? Mm -hmm. All right, look at that. That's what we got going on here. We're going to try um, cutting off here a bite. And we're going to try a bite of this. Show our support peeps. Show our support peeps. Yeah. That's our support peeps right here. See that? You see that? Thank you. Thank you. Nice. There we go. Great. So let's try this together. Come here, Paulina. Come here, you guys. Come try this. I this off. And then I'm going to... You, you turned it off. Yeah, because it was bad here. Oh. I'm going to put a little bit more nutritional yeast on it. There we go. Or was it like... It was... Yeah, you almost knocked it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, here is a bite for you, oh, my dear. Thank you. And here's a bite for me. That was really hot. Is that hot? No, not too bad. <laughs> Bonnie said she has to wait for hers to cook in the oven. How fast can I get one of those ninja ovens? Probably two days. I think it's Amazon Prime. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that could be another fun. birthday splurge for you, Bonnie. I'll give some to Katie. Let's pour a new one. Jane Water. said she wants a ninja oven as well. Yeah. There's a link in the group, everybody. If you go to the top right, you can look at polls. And I linked to the exact one that I have. So, something there for you guys. This is really delicious. Mm -hmm. Any more, Kato? Excellent. Now make sure after you cook somebody, something, if it's something. your, yeah, somebody, don't cook anybody. After you cook something, mm. although I will say with whoever you're quarantined with, you may feel like cooking them by the end of quarantine. <laughs> um, but uh, while you are, if you find a new favorite dish, make sure you go to the polls section um, and vote for your new favorite dish. Okay, so I think Paulina said that, uh, was it the, the halibut or was it last night? What, which one was your favorite? <laughs> She's got food in her mouth right now. Mm -hmm. Oh man, can I have two favorites? I really like the fish because it wasn't too fishy, but yesterday's meal took the, took the winning. Yesterday's meal? Yeah. Yesterday's, yesterday's She's was, a meat and potatoes girl. I am a meat and potatoes girl. It was so good, mm -hmm. and the cauliflower really tasted like potatoes. The cauliflower really tasted like potatoes. Nice potatoes. It was one of the best cauliflowers. Wait, 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 let's what? get this on wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, but who taught you how to do that? Wait, wait, Katie, say this again? Wait. I taught you how to oh, do it. Oh, God. <laughs> the other part. The mashed cauliflower in last night's was the best I think I've ever probably had. Mm. How does it make you feel there? Like an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Older sister letting you know. 
That your cauliflower was the best Bonnie said it was the best cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Bonnie said she's going broke staying home. <laughs> <laughs> well. And Jane said, this looks so good, she's making it for supper tomorrow. All right, Jane, you guys will enjoy it. You and Chica will enjoy this very, very much. Again, if you're not um, doing our program, and you're not trying to lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, don't use cheese, okay? That's going to be opposite of losing weight. Um, it's going to be inflammatory and it's going to slow down weight loss. But if you are not trying to lose weight, just trying to maintain and want a healthy meal, you could put a little cheese on top of this and that would be also delicious, especially if you air fried it with the cheese on it because it's going to make the cheese really crispy. Mm. And I would do like a, like a, like a, uh, like a provolone. Provolone would be fantastic on top of that, or a Munster cheese would be really good as well. So some nice grilling, grilling cheese would be delicious on it. So try that out. Since we're talking about boats, I wanted to end with a little story. And I appreciate all of you who joined me on your midday motivational daily dose of Davis. That was a lot of fun. We'll be reading that story for the next couple days. So come and join me for that. Excuse me, just trying to get the things out of my teeth. Um, but um, there's a there's a concept that's called burning your boats. Now we all have heard the concept that's about burning our bridges and that we shouldn't burn our bridges. And we shouldn't burn our bridges, but let me tell you the concept of burning our boats and I'm gonna apply that to what that means with our health and with wellness and specifically if you're trying to lose weight with weight loss. So the, the, the story goes that this general was attacking this island and so they had their they had their boat, their big ship, and they took all their rowboats ashore. They unloaded all their, their troops. And then what the the general commanded or the captain commanded is that all of those boats be burned and all of their supplies, their food, be burned. And the question is why? The reason he did that is because it was a no turning back situation. He said, we are either going to conquer the people on this island so we can take their resources and their boats and get back home, or we're going to die trying. We don't want any soldier to not give it all they've got, and by burning the boats, it was their idea of commitment. So let me just tell you a couple things that would be your commitment devices, you burning your boats when it comes to your health and wellness. Some of you are struggling during this time of quarantine because you still have unhealthy foods all over your house and you haven't burned that boat, you're keeping that unhealthy food there for some reason. You haven't taken that final commitment step. Maybe you're still thinking to yourself, man, I've been trying to lose weight for five, 10, 15, 20 years on my own. I just haven't been doing it. Well, your commitment may be to give us a call at Vital Life and do one of our remote programs. You need to make that commitment. You need to burn that boat and say, I'm doing it now. I know I need help. I'm going to get the help that I need. I'm going to lose the weight and gain the health that I want. So just some ideas there for you to burn your boat, not your bridge, but for you to burn your boat so you can get the results that you are after. Thank you again. Any other questions before we go? Any comments that we missed? Okay, great. Well, thank you guys all for joining me. My name is Davis Jaspers. I'm the founder of the Vital Life Program, reminding you that today is the perfect day to live a vital life.